Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely TV Show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely TV Show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. Hope you guys are doing good today. So I wanted to come on here and talk about two situations that went viral this weekend. So the first is, if you guys do not know, Krishan took her baby to her church to get him baptized. And we also got a chance to find out the baby's real name. The baby's name is Krishan Jesus Malone Jr. Uh, uh, Ladies and gentlemen, meet Krishan Michael Malone. (laughs) I just throw my name in there. He's lying. I'm lying. This is Krishan. Krishan, yeah. Jesus Malone. Jesus Malone. Yeah. You put Jesus in the middle. Yeah, I had to. Woo. <laughs> Krishan Jr. is named after Krishan herself. So let me go ahead and kind of give you guys a backstory on her pastor. So about three weeks ago, they went viral because she went back to her home church. And they told a story about how when Krishan, was, when she was eight or nine years old, she had gave the pastor a $5 tidings gift. And so when she went to go pay her tithes and her being so young, he was shocked by it that he basically gave her the entire church offering that day. And she said it really helped turn her family out. So then she wanted to pay it back forward. So she goes back to the church and she just gives this man a wad of cash and he looks like he's about to faint. He's so shocked. He's super happy. So this went viral. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this video really quick. I love her so dearly. She's a product of this ministry. In spite of how my girl cut up, she is my baby. That's right. And she loves Jesus. Do y'all know who this is? It's a vibe all the time. (laughs) Christian, what? It's how you gave it to me. Wait a minute. Are you sure? Yeah, that's what the Lord put in my heart. So I'm- All right, so you guys just saw snippets of that video. So, you know, a lot of people had things to say about it. You know, while I thought it was cute that she went to go pay it forward, the pastor kind of rubbed me kind of like a attention whore. I just got to keep it real. I feel like he likes the proximity to being close to Krishan's fame. Even him singing It's a Vibe all the time. It's like, sir... Come on now. I mean, the fact that all of this was done in the middle of Sunday service, you know, definitely makes me give him the side eye. So now we fast forward. We, we know that Krishan had her baby seven days ago on live in front of over 300, 400,000 people. And so she then decides to take Krishan Jr. to the church this Sunday and get him dedicated to the church. So it wasn't really a baptism. It was more of a dedication. So I want you guys to go ahead and watch this video here. In the name... Get your hands on them, baby. That is above every name. We dedicate this child unto you. We dedicate his life unto you. And every attack that's set up against them, we render it, render it null and void. Now, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, cover her, cover him. And even as it relates to his father, we cover him in prayer. Every attack that the devil has against his life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We decree that blessings shall abound 
on you, Christian. That you are a product of the purpose of God and not just a product of your parents' passion. That God foreknew you. And before you were formed in your mama's belly, he ordained you. And he called you to speak to nations and turn a generation around for his glory. I thank you, Father, that he will excel academically. He will excel in life. He will bring honor to his parents' name. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, will you have, Didi? So shall it be. Deborah, you have anything? In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And all who are in agreement, Shout amen. amen. I said shout it. Amen. Oh, God is so good. God is so good. I speak healing in his body from the top of his head to the soles of his feet. And all of her family that's in agreement with this child you will walk with her according to the goodness of God to continue to raise him in the fear and admonition of God's word. And is as God was with Michael, so shall he be with Krishan Jesus Malone Jr. Yes, amen. Give me love, baby. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, so you guys just saw that video, and of course it went viral this weekend. Um, you know, a lot of people thought it was cute. Many people said they were crying. They were super happy for her. In my personal opinion, I feel like, once again, Krishan is doing the most. This is my opinion. Don't care how y'all feel. Um, this baby is seven days old. Uh, guess what? God works everywhere. God even works in the sanctity and the safety of your home. Um, we all see on the news that C-19 is back. From the White House to concert and sports arenas, even daytime TV, a reminder that COVID-19 has not gone away. As health experts say, a late summer wave of cases is now leading to an uptick in hospitalizations, though still well below pandemic peak. Even heavy metal rockers Metallica forced to reschedule a show in Arizona. All disruptions from a virus that most experts don't think will leave us anytime soon, if ever. Um, you know, it's a lot of things spreading. The weather is cooling down. This child is seven days old. I don't think that he needed to be inside of the church with hundreds of people there. Um, all these people around him, he has no immune system right now. Um, you know, it's one thing to have him, you know, dedicated to the church. The pastor could have came to her home and they could have quietly did it. But once I see things being done like this, cameras, it's being videotaped for social media, Zeus Network is there. It does look like this baby is just being commodified. Like this is just an extension of her storyline, you know, and everybody's talking about that's good, that she's getting the baby blessed, the baby needs it. But then these are the same folks who are cheering her on while she fought through her pregnancy, you know, and, and everything else to put this baby at risk. I'm hoping that this baby does change her for the better. But I also feel like she needs to sit down some with this baby. She needs to go chill. When the baby was a few days old, she went to one of her brother's football games. Blueface was calling her out for that. It's just, it's too much going on with the new child. It's like, just stay home, chill, kick your feet up, enjoy your newborn. You know what I'm saying? At this point, she's still bleeding. And it's like you're here in the middle of the church, you know, with this newborn. To me, it just looked like a Zeus Network production because, like I said, God is everywhere. So the same pastor could have quietly did this in her home with just her and the baby and just very few people. But once again, everything feels like a show for social media between all the antics that she's doing and the antics that Blueface is doing. They're both using this baby for attention, to go viral, for views, for a check. And it's really sad that this baby is stuck in all of this. You know, with him being so young, you know, God forbid, you don't want him to get something that his little immune system is not able to fight. He's already been traumatized through this pregnancy. You know, all of her stress and anxiety. We heard him crying, you know, a few days ago, sounding like a little kitten, you know, just, you know, upset. 
and he can't even fully cry yet because at that age, you know, babies don't really cry. You know, they mainly sleep. Their lungs are still not fully all the way developed. You know, you'll hear cries, but not like that. You know, he should just be resting. So I just thought the whole situation to me just looked really contrived for the media, for Zeus Network, you know, for social media. I just want this girl to sit down somewhere and rest and be with her child and just live in the moment. One thing about kids, they grow so fast. So enjoy every moment that they're little. Enjoy every moment that they're there, you know, sleeping, taking a nap. So, you know, that's just my opinion. I just felt like it was just way too much, way too soon. You know, a lot of churches don't even want newborns in the church until they're about two months old. You know, until they're more aware. That's when they start looking at dedications and baptisms and things like that. So I felt like this was a bit early at seven days. But again, that's just my opinion. So now in other news, um, we have T.I.'s son. He was also trending this weekend as well. He's currently getting drugged. Now, you guys know on my live stream I had talked about the one chip challenge. That was my first time hearing about this um, after that 14-year-old young man died. Um, It's just really extremely scary, and I'm seeing more and more people jumping on the challenge ever since his death went viral. Developments tonight in the death of a Massachusetts teen following a viral social media challenge. The company behind the spicy chip at the center of it all is now pulling it off store shelves. Pocky was, has asked retailers now to stop selling the chips. Last Friday, 14-year-old Harris Waloba died just hours after taking part in the so-called One Chip Challenge. While the cause of his death has not been determined, the family blames the challenge and the chip. The chip has a warning on the back of the box that it's not intended for children. However, more and more children have been taking part in this challenge since there is no ID required to buy it. Um, Before this, I don't recall King Harris even attempting to do this chip challenge or even talk about it. So it's very interesting that now that somebody has died, now he wants to participate. But did he feed himself a chip? Absolutely not. He decided to go and accost a homeless man and have the homeless man eat a chip and tell the homeless man that he had to wait five minutes before drinking any water in order to win a grand total of what? $50. Not a hundred, not 500, not 5,000, 50 bucks. And then had the nerve to fill away because, you know, it got too hot for the homeless man and he needed some water after about four minutes and King only gave him $20. This entire situation is a hot damn mess. Y'all go ahead and check this out. Oh, Oh, out here. Oh, shit, I got oh, shit. 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 Yeah, I got yeah, it. Like that. How, how you feeling? It's alright. It ain't hot. Shit. Nah, you can't drink, no you can't drink it yet though. You can't drink it yet though. If you drink you gotta wait five, five minutes. minutes. If you need some milk, whatever you need after you lose, I'll buy it for you. But you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Is it hot? No. It's hot. No, oh we. Man, that probably a snap for Uncle man. Uh, <laughs> man look at me. Look at me. Look at It make it harder with that water in your hand. Hot chip challenge, dog. Look, 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 You're gonna lose if you drink it. He cried. The time you can't oh, drink it, you can't drink it, you ain't gonna make your money. Not yet. Man. The time on, huh? You ain't gonna make your money, man. You got three minutes left. You got four minutes, minutes. Cause I was already recording oh, okay, on the minute. Okay, yeah, okay. yeah. You got four, four minutes, minutes left. Oh, wait. Oh. What are you thinking about life right now? Just keep breathing. Just keep breathing. You know, I can say hit the cage. Don't wipe your eyes, man. That's. You need what you need. Good. You need some. You need some milk. You need some ice. You got. You got. You got. You got what? Three. You got two minutes and forty seconds. You want some milk? Some ice? You hard, bad boy. Ooh wee. 
One thing about it, he gonna get his. This shit look good. Don't drink that water yet, man. Don't let him finesse. Don't get tricked. This shit look good. Ooh, that water. Ooh, wee. That water gonna make it go. <laughs> oh shit! Hey, I got eight of these. It's gonna be eight people on this story tonight. Oh my god! How long you got left? How hot it is? How hot it is? How long he got? He got two minutes left. Two minutes left. Oh, you can do it. Oh, that nigga know. Ooh, we. It's a it's a mind thing. Mind thing. It's a my thing. This ain't nothing, yeah. You got so long to go, man. Oh my god. You gotta fight it. You gotta fight it. You gotta fight it. You gotta fight it. You He taking it, though. Yeah, he taking it. Yeah, he taking it. He ain't move. Oh, he rocking now. He rocking side to side now. Yeah, buddy. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, tell him this easy money, huh? Oh, How oh, long we got? Nah, don't be in now. Minute and 30. A minute and 30. You came too far. You came way too far. Ooh. What you going to get with that 50? Hit the water, man. Hit the water, man. Oh, got you. He trying to ask you like, mm, what you? Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> he said, save it, huh? Hey. Ooh, hey, man. Hey. 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 I done gave him a 20, man, just so y'all know, we ain't doing that one. He lost, though. He lost, though. Still gave him, you know what I'm saying? I done gave him a 20. <laughs> yeah, man. Hey. Yes. Are you about to hit the liquor? Oh, shit. He about to hit the liquor with it? Oh, yeah, he about to... Hey, I'm riding down this street before we go home. I'm riding straight back down. Yes, sir, man. Oh. He about to drink... All right, so y'all just saw that video. And so he's currently getting drug all over social media, you know, for harassing a homeless man. So now he's responding back to the backlash and to the so-called haters. So check out what King had to say right here. I Dang, I like this. It was so quick to talk about nigga T post nigga T fuck. You know, do all they talk. Let's see what they post up. And then wild this shit went up. Shit went up. It did. Yeah. Tell them bitch ass post this. Tell them bitch ass post how I be outside selling this merch. Tell them to post this shit. Wrong these. Tell them to post this shit. Y'all wanna post something so bad. Post my hustle. Yeah, post this fucking hustle. All right, so you guys just saw his response, you know, once again deflecting. You know, my issue with this whole situation is that, one, King, you've never had to be in this situation where you've lost everything and you've had to be homeless and live on the street. This man is down and out. No grown man would choose to just really want to be on the street. The fact that he was willing to take on this challenge means that, one, he was desperate and he needed the money. And the fact that you will film somebody when they're down at their worst is just super tacky and uncalled for. And then the fact that you only gave him 20 as if that was going to do something for him, I think it's just sad. You know, I just think that it's it's really unfortunate that somebody who was born with a silver spoon in their mouth never wanted for anything would then turn around and poke fun at somebody who's homeless and who's down and out and would even do this challenge for him. 
You know what I'm saying? I just don't find it funny, especially after that young man died a few days ago that went viral for doing this chip challenge. What if this homeless man did that and he ended up passing out and dying? You know, we don't know what his situation is. We don't know his health condition. We don't know if this man is strong enough to handle some type of challenge like that. So King kind of put himself at risk for even for even entertaining that challenge. Because that man could have had some type of heart attack or, you know, anything could have happened to him eating this hot chip. And the fact that he would risk that for views to me is just silly. It just does not make any sense. So... In my personal opinion, I was not feeling it, and I'm glad that social media is calling him out. I think a lot of people at this point in time are tired of King's antics, and they're tired of the things that he's doing. He's acting like he has not been out here living a blessed life his entire life. You know, the fact that he keeps playing these games to me just doesn't make any sense. But with that being said, I leave the question up to you guys. How do y'all feel about everything? How do y'all feel about this entire situation concerning King? Do you feel like he's dead wrong for what he did with this homeless man? Do you feel like it's a challenge and if the homeless man was willing to do it, that's on him? And then last but not least, how do y'all feel about Krishan taking her seven-day-old baby to the church to be dedicated to? Do you feel like that's way too early? Or do you feel like, you know what, it's her child, if that's what she wanted to do, so be it? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. So leave a comment down below. I look forward to reading them. Make sure you guys like the video. Feel free to share the video. Most importantly, make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. And I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.